This is the water out of our $32,000 well, and I can't drink it yet. We're Martin and Julie, and we're seeking a life with more freedom and independence as we build our off-grid homestead from scratch here in North Idaho. Recently, we had a well drilled on our property. However, we're not sure if the water is drinkable, but today we get our lab results back on our water test. We had our well drill just a few days ago. It's 520 feet deep and our pump is set at 200 feet. And this is the water that we were getting at first. It looks like carrot juice and it smells pretty nasty. Obviously, you would not want to be drinking this water here, right? Well, the well driller told us that we need to pump the water. Just like pump it and pump it and pump it. And so we've pumped it for like 40 hours at 10 gallons a minute. This is what the water looks like now. That's way better. Way better. Still not like perfectly crystal clear. Yeah. But it doesn't have a smell. Mm -hmm. And it looks pretty good. It's been recommended to us that we go ahead and get that water tested. Who knows like what kind of stuff could actually be living in that water. There's a bacteria test that we're going to do because that's like really what could get you sick is the different bacteria that may be down in the water. Also, maybe arsenic might be a poison that you wouldn't want to drink. <laughs> yeah. Right. But you got all the, the minerals, all the hard water minerals, like you've heard of hard water and water softeners. So that's what we want to know what's in here. So we got to get it tested. Good morning, guys. It's a nice frosty morning here on the homestead. Yeah, it's like 29 degrees here today. Cool, huh? What you got there in your hands? I've got all of our bottles to take our samples, our water samples, so we can send them down to the lab. Exciting stuff here, guys. Hopefully we're gonna be able to drink our water soon. <laughs> and kind of cool we get to show you the the well set up here. Oh squishy. Squishy mighty. So we've got our well here, 520 feet deep. Our pump is a half horsepower pump set at 200 feet. Frost-free hydrant here. And uh, we're gonna be pumping out some water and getting some tests here. Maybe. Oh yeah. You can tell the color's pretty clear because look at it on the snow. Not discoloring the snow at all. No yellow snow for us. Pretty cool. This is what normally happens though. Look oh at yeah. It now. Yeah. Woo! Look at that color, man. We'll let it run for a little while and it'll clear up. And then we'll take the sample. Taste it, taste it. I taste it. Yep, there's a definite color difference there yeah. between empty and uh, <laughs> not empty. We're just gonna let that water run today, let it run all day. Well, guy said, the more it runs, the better it's gonna get. Jules, what are you doing, man? <laughs> They're supposed to stay um, about 40 degrees when you transport them, and I don't have any ice. So, I'm using edamame and broccoli. <laughs> all right, we're here at the drop-off spot. Panhandle pump. Hey. Wow, all kinds of good stuff here. Huh. Here we go. Thank you. Thank you. I saw a thing about... Uh... Bye, test bottles. We finally got our lab results back on our water test and we're gonna share all those results with you for in just a second. But first we want to answer one of the questions that you guys ask us a lot in comments and also through emails that you send us. And that is how we get our water from the well 
to the house. We've got our well right here. Our pump is down in the well, and this is our frost-free hydrant. If you didn't see the videos about the well being drilled and us installing the pump and hydrant, there are links to those videos down in the description of this video. So basically, we start up the generator here, we plug in the well, and it starts pumping water. The water comes out of the well into the frost-free hydrant. We make sure that the frost-free hydrant is open, and then we follow this hose. Come with me. So we follow the hose over here, and while we're walking over there, I really want to ask you guys how you would filter the water as it goes into the house. I know that there are like whole house water filters and there's a bunch of different types, water softeners and things like that. Let me know down in the comments below what your thoughts are on filtering water from a well as it comes into the house. So we're still following the hose here. Following the hose. It keeps going. Where does it go? Oh, the magic hose goes in here. This is our 2,500 gallon cistern that we use to store our water. If you've been watching us for a while, you know that we used to haul water from town and transfer it into this tank. Now, we're just pumping it from our well directly into here. Take a look at that. And as you can see, there's not very clear water in there. So while our water looks clear in a small cup, when you put it in a big tank like this and you're actually looking through feet of water, it's not very clear. So we need to be able to filter this in some way. Oh, by the way, if you're wondering how we get it from here to the shower in the house, we've got a complete video about that in the description of this video as well. This is our Catadine water filter. All of our drinking water goes through this filter right here. It is an excellent filter. We'll filter out almost everything so that you have pure, safe drinking water down here in the bottom, and you put the dirty water in the top. When you send your water in to the lab to be tested, you have a lot of different choices on what you actually want your water to be tested for. But one of the main things is for bacteria, for coliform bacteria and for E. coli. And so in our water, there was no bacteria present. So that is a good thing, right? One of the other things that we were interested in was the hardness of the water. Our hardness rating is 118, which puts us at moderately hard, kind of in the middle range there of hardness. Arsenic is another concern in this area, and actually our arsenic is slightly elevated, just barely higher than what the EPA wants you to have. Actually, if you go back a few years, we're below the standard, but you know how things go and they lowered the standard, so now we're just above it. A whole house water filter ought to take care of that, no problem at all. Our pH is really good, no problems there. Another thing that we were concerned about was the iron content in our water because that's what stains your toilet and your bathtub and things like that. Our iron content is actually elevated quite a bit above what is recommended. And so maybe a whole house filter would help take care of that as well. But all in all, our water is safe to drink, except for that arsenic that's just a little bit high. If you have any more questions about our well, put them down in the comments below. And also, I picked out this video for you right over here. Go ahead and click this video. I know that you're gonna like it, and I'll see you over there in just a second.